everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J. And today I have another exciting video for you all. So I am doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup in collaboration with Charlotte Tilbury. Yes, I am so excited. Thank you so much to Charlotte Tilbury for partnering with me for this video. I have a full face of her products on my face right now. And I'm gonna show you all how to create this look from A to Z. I love the way that my look turns out. It looks sultry, it looks glamorous, and it's everything that embodies Charlotte Tilbury's brand. So I have everything ranging from skincare to foundation to new eyeshadow quads, and I was able to grab a few new products courtesy of Charlotte Tilbury. So thank you so much for that, but I also have products that I have been loving already in my collection. So I pair some of those things with my new things, and we're about to do the thing. I will have links for everything that I'm going to be using down in the description box, so definitely check there. And also check out Charlotte Tilbury's website, which I will have linked down in the description box as well. So thank you again, Charlotte Tilbury. Let's go ahead and get into it, and I hope that you all enjoy. So I've already prepped my skin with Charlotte's Magic Cream, and this cream is so so nice. It makes my skin feel very, very hydrated. I have been loving putting this on before I put on my foundation and all of that because my skin is just a little bit drier from being in the house and it is just a little bit more dehydrated. So I also have the Magic Cream Light, which is a lighter version of Charlotte's Magic Cream. It's more so like a lotion than it is a butter. And this one is really, really nice as well. And so I like this one for days when I'm actually going outside because it is hot where I am. And you know, sometimes you need a lighter moisturizer because it feels more lightweight on the skin and that is what this one does. This one also has a few more cool claims that I have not seen done a lot. It is going to triple protect your skin from one, the blue light from digital screens because we all are on our devices so much more now. It also helps protect your skin from visible and invisible pollution as well as UVA slash UVB rays with SPF 20. So this one is really nice, but I did not apply this one today I have on the original magic cream and I already have on a little bit of concealer around my brows for foundation I'm using the airbrush flawless foundation and I originally had the color 8w but this one leans a little bit more warm and I wanted to have something a little bit more neutral so I picked up a new shade I got the color 7.5 in but what I'm going to do is use these two colors in conjunction with one another I'm gonna start off with 8w and apply this one on the perimeter of my face. I'm just going to take one pump of this foundation and pounce it all around. So as I said, I'm starting off on the perimeter of my face and this foundation is a full coverage foundation. It also says that this foundation is a hybrid of skincare as well as foundation. So this foundation is said to boost hydration in the skin. I am all here for having more hydrated skin. Your girl has been drinking her water, but if I can get it in multiple ways, I will take it. So I have 8W applied. Now I'm going to go into the 7.5 N, and I'm taking a very little bit, so about half of a pump, and I'm going to apply this more so in the center of my face just to neutralize it. And this foundation is just a touch too light to just wear all over, but I feel like the combination in the way that I'm applying it is going to best match in my face. So now that I have that applied, I do like to come back to my complexion and do my eyes next. So in typical Kelsey fashion, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of eye primer. And for that, I'm going to use a cream eyeshadow. And this one is in the color Amber Gold. And so I'm just going to take this all across my eyelid and blend it upwards towards the crease. And this is going to be the base for our powder eyeshadows. I don't need a lot of this product, just enough to evenly coat the lid and sweep it up. So for my powder eyeshadow, I am going to be working with two different quads. So for the first quad, I'm going to be going in with the Desert Haze quad. And for the second quad, I'm going to take the Queen of Glow. Because the Queen of Glow only has one matte eyeshadow in there, I'm going to go into the Desert Haze quad and do my transition shades. I am going to start off with this color and gently, and I do mean very, very gently, Take this color right in my crease and begin going back and forth to deposit this color. And it is very, very pigmented. So please go in 
with a very light hand. Now I'm going to dip into this color. Same palette, same brush, and I'm going to begin to really define this crease area. So this color is a little bit richer than the first one. Right where I applied the last color, I'm gonna focus this color in the same spot, but I'm not going to blend it up quite as far. So I'm just applying the majority of the color in the crease. Now let's move on to the Queen of Glow palette and I'm going to once again go in with the matte color. Take this color and pop it right on the outer corner on the lid. Pop, 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 and then bring it around and bring it up towards the crease like so. Now I am going to take a flat shader brush in this color. Let's apply that directly in the center of the lid. Make sure to blend it next to the outer corner color. Make sure to tap it to bring it up towards the crease and slightly start to slope it down towards the inner corner. And then I'm not going to take it all the way on the inside of the inner corner because I do want to put the other color in the quad there. But I just want this color to be nice and blended with all of the other shades that are on the lid without covering it up. So now I'm going to take a pencil brush and this lightest color and pop that right on the inner corner and then blend it over. So now I like to abandon my eyes and go back to my complexion. So I have a brand new Magic Away concealer. I totally empty my original Magic Away concealer and it's beyond time for me to get rid of this one and get a new one. And so I have a new one. My original one that I had was in the shade 8. And I have now switched to the color 7.5. So this concealer has a felt applicator. And you can see how much concealer you have through this little window. And then twist up just how much you need. Because you know once you twist it up you cannot twist it down. Let's apply our concealer. And this is a full coverage concealer. So you don't need a lot. So this concealer is all about creating the illusion of a lift and creating luminosity. So I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to blend this one out. It's so smooth. I love this concealer. I think that it is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like a brand new woman. I feel like concealer just perfects any look. So now let me set it. So now I'm going to go back to the eyes and I'm going to take the feline flick and do a little bit of eyeliner on the top. And I like to do this step after I have applied my concealer just so everything is clean and the eyeliner can look as sharp as possible. I love how easily this eyeliner glides on and it gives a beautifully black opaque line. Now that I have my lashes applied, let's finish off our eye look and I'm going to go back into the Queen of Glow palette and take the lightest shade with the pencil brush and pop that right on the inner corner on the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take this gold color and pop that on the middle. And lastly, I'm gonna finish off the lower lash line with just a little bit of this burgundy color just to tie it all together and connect it to the top. So now I'm gonna add some liner on the inner rim and some mascara to the lower lash line and I'll be right back. That looks really good. So now I'm going to brighten my under eye. I'm going to take the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade number two. And I am just going to pack that on right up underneath my eye just to make sure that everything is just super, super smooth. Can you all see that difference there? Pretty. So we have to get into this bronzer, which is probably my favorite thing that I've bought all year. I'm just saying. So this one is number two. I'm just gonna do a little light sum sum at first and swirl this around. Just a nice, natural, everyday bronzer. It looks like silk on the skin. It just glides on and it requires little to no effort and I'm all about it. Now for the bolder. I'm gonna go into the shade number three. Same brush and I'm just going to lightly apply that and intensify just because my eyes are a bit more dramatic and you know if I want to do a natural everyday type thing I'll go in with two but if I want to take it up to the next level three next is highlight time I'm gonna mix these two gold and this opal color 
So lastly for the cheek area, I'm going to go into the Lip and Cheek Glow Color of Dreams Cream Products. I'm going to scrape out just a little bit make it a happy face. I'm gonna take it on the back of my hands here and go into a synthetic brush. I'm gonna dab this all around and lightly build this on my cheeks. Ooh, very glowy, very pretty. So I pretty much used all of that. So I'm gonna get just a little bit more and apply it on my lips to show you all what that looks like. So this is just a really nice wash of a sheer lip stain almost. It has a glossy feel to it, but not too much because that's why it has that versatility of where you can apply it on the cheeks and on the lips. And I'm going to actually go in with one of her dedicated lip products. So I finally got my hands on Foxy Brown Lip Liner. Mm-hmm. And in the center, I'm going to take JK Magic. I love how creamy this formula is. And there you have it. Here's the finished look of me using all Charlotte Tilbury products. And I think this look is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way that it turned out. I feel like it's super beautiful, very glowy, and all of these products just marry together extremely well. I have been on a serious Charlotte Tilbury kick. So again, thank you so much for collaborating with me for this video because I'm so excited to be able to add so many more new products to my collection. And I love everything that I used. Seriously, as I said, that bronzer, that bronzer, that's all I have to say. But in addition to that, she's just created so many gorgeous things and I have just been loving Charlotte Tilbury on another level. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you all have any of the products that you saw me use. And if you don't have some of the products that you saw me use, but you added them to your shopping cart, let me know what you're going to be bringing home. I look forward to reading what you guys have to say down in the comments section. And I will check you all in my very next video, which will be super, super soon. Smooches. Bye.